Okay, we're going to show you how to uh, transfer different solutions. This may be a sterile solution or it could be a solution, say a broth with bacteria growing in it. So for that you're going to have to use a pipette is one of the main things that we use. We have different size pipettes. This is a 10 mil, we have a 1 mil, there's 5 mils. They usually are packaged in sterile packaging and then this is a pipette aid or a pro pipetter. So what you would do is just open the package uh, carefully, keeping the, the tip still in your sterile uh, container. Slide it out. Now with the pipette, there is a, this uh, wheel here that you just dial it, you just turn it. And that is going to draw the solution up into the pipette as you can see here. Now there are numbers on the side, so depending on how much you have been told to measure, this one if you is a 10 mil pipette, so if you were told to measure 10 milliliters, you would bring it all the way up. Now, some pipettes, and it just depends on the brand, some of them count from the bottom up, and so you'd bring it to the 10. Some of them, they count essentially backwards, so you'd bring it to the zero. Once you have the solution in, raise it up, move it over to your other container, and then you would just turn the wheel the opposite direction to dispense the fluid. You want to be careful not to create an aerosol, especially if you're working with a solution that's already been inoculated with the bacterium, because you don't want that to be spread through the air. So you just, that way. And then you can often just touch along the uh, edge of the container to get the last bit of drop out. Now, if you were to look in closely at the pipette, you will notice the numbers on this one between, say, the 4 and the 5. That is 1 milliliter. There are markings in between there, so you could actually measure, say, 4.3 or 4.8, etc. Uh, so you can get relatively precise with the measurements on this. One thing to keep in mind when you are measuring liquids, water has a uh, property where it tends to stick to the sides. Now, it may not be always real obvious, but because it sticks to the side, when you look at it to take your measurement reading, you may notice that it's not level. The fluid will not be level when you get your reading. So to get a proper reading, you need to read from the bottom. It looks like a U shape, we call this the meniscus, and you would take the measurement from the bottom, not from the top. If you take it from the top, you're going to have inaccurate readings. So you can use, uh, like I say, there's different sizes of these pipettes, they all work the same in terms of drawing the fluid up, and then before you start, just look at the measurements on your pipette. Uh, this is a one mil pipette. It is divided into tenths, so you can get, say, 0.1 mil. You can actually get 0.15 mils. So you need to be aware of how much fluid you're wanting to transfer determines which size pipette you're going to use. When you are done, depending on what you're working with, depends on how you will dispose of it. If you're just working with water, if you're working with sterile media, the pipette can be disposed of in the regular trash. If it has uh, come in contact with any type of microorganism, so you're working with fluid that had already been inoculated, then it's considered contaminated. You need to dispose of it properly into the solid uh, contaminant waste, usually the large one red waste container.